Oops! That phone is now a tarantula. Oh! So today, oh my god, I just, yeah, I just dropped something. No idea what I just dropped. But this phone over here, it is supposedly waterproof. Okay, you can see my turtle over there. This is my pond. I mean, kind of obvious, but you know, this is Exotic's Lair. And what do we do on Exotic's Lair? We film animals, specifically tarantulas, but... You guys always ask for an update on my turtle. So let's say, right, let's say you're using this phone. Wait, let me just turn this phone on. Give me a sec. All right, I've got the camera on. As you can see, it is on video. So I'm going to be hitting record. Okay, let's say you are filming your turtles. Like, hello, I'm a turtle, right? <laughs> no, no, not I'm a turtle. Like, hello, these are my turtles. And then let's say you accidentally, oops. Your phone just falls into the water. Oh, uh, yeah. You want to go get the phone for me? <laughs> but yeah, this phone, it's... Oh, the fishes are, like, coming to investigate what just dropped in. But yeah, this phone, it is supposed to be waterproof, not water resistant. Like, it's literally written there, waterproof, up to 1.5 meters. I'm not sure how deep my pond is, but yeah, we'll, we'll go to the tarantula route. Let's see. I can't even speak. We'll go to the tarantula room to just check on some stuff and then we will come back and grab the phone and see if it's still working. Okay, let's see who's in here, shall we? Now, over here we have uh, Death Nugget, which is... Oh, there she is. Sorry, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need some light. Boom, flash on. There we go. There's Death Nugget down there. See, her burrow is like super deep. But yeah, there's Death Nugget, her water dish. Eh, not the cleanest. We're gonna have to deal with that in a bit. Now, what are we going to see next? Oh yeah, over here we have got some super worms in oats. You know, I'm just doing this to like buy time because I'm gonna be leaving that phone in there for I don't know just a couple minutes because I don't want to do this video for like half an hour Just waiting for that phone to I don't know. So yeah phones while phones waiting. We're gonna be doing some super worms There we go. All right <laughs> Let's move on to whoever else we're gonna be filming. We have got the uh, What is this? Sternochilus murinus the tan color form my king baboon is like literally she has been in here She has been in there for like God knows how long. And then over here is my GBB over there. See what she's done with her enclosure? Super nice. And then there's some more. Okay, you know what? This is kind of boring. Let's just go and check on the phone. If I can only find the phone because my pawn is, you can see, you can't really see anything in here. So I'm going to have to go in. Yeah, I know. I mean, I have, an, I have an, like a net over there, but I'm just too lazy. And it'll make it more interesting if I go into the pond, right? So, yep. Crocs, guys. Chancletas. Lord of Lion, if you're watching this, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so if I remember right, the phone should be somewhere over here. Oh my god, what did I just step on? Yep, this is a little bit... Hmm, I'm just feeling around with my foot. Oh, did I find a phone? I'm not... Oh, yep, found a phone. There we go. So, is it still working? Oh, hell yeah, it's still working. Did I even press record just now? What's going on, my little friend? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> since this phone has withstand some dirt... Oh my god, what the heck was that? I think that was a fish. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to replay this video, but yeah, this phone is gone through a dirty water and it is doing super well. So now we are going to our, do our next test, which will be dust. Yeah, I don't really have dust like I mentioned, but I think I know we'll have an alternative. All right, I'm going to have to wipe this phone down first because it is pretty... Yeah, it's pretty wet. There we go. Oh wait, the video actually played. Okay, wait. Let's let's see how this. Oh man, we actually. Yep. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. And then let's say you accidentally. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, oh man, I saw the fish. That is pretty cool. Yeah, we just saw a fish underwater, which is pretty cool. I can use this phone to dive underwater to film some stuff. Pretty cool. I don't think my iPhone will be able to do that. So yeah, on to the next test. And then also it is supposedly dustproof. It's written somewhere at the side of here. Oh no, this is waterproof. It's Android, by the way. I have no idea how to use Android. I'm, I've been using like iPhones all my life. This is my iPhone 7, which I used to film all the time. And I'm using my iPhone XR for this filming. 
Oh yeah, and then um, that's waterproof. And then over here at the other side, it is written dustproof. So I don't exactly have a lot of dust in my house. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be tossing this in coconut fiber. And coconut fiber, I would think they're equivalent to dust. I don't know, but this is the best that I have that is closest to dust. So basically, since this is dubbed to be a uh, dustproof, let's just put it in here. Just freaking bury it, okay? Because that phone is now a tarantula, a burrowing tarantula. So here we go. Going to bury it, and we're just going to leave it in for, yeah, I don't know, we'll come back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't think I got dust proof that the fact that this is dust proof. I don't think I got that thing right. Yeah, I don't think burying it in coconut fiber is going to like kill it. Get all the coconut fiber off. And also since it's an armored phone, we're gonna be doing the drop test on the stairs over here first and then I will drop it down over here and then i will go to my balcony and throw it down my house hopefully this phone withstands this drop i mean it's not a very far drop but yeah let, let's see how this goes because if you are like me filming tarantulas from a distance or filming your snakes you may drop your phone I and mean, please don't drop it on your animals but i mean here we go oh oh my god that was loud that was heck loud that was <laughs> You know, I'm really having fun doing this video. Now, this video is like, I know it's like totally random. It's like not the same review. Like usually people do very formal and very nice, but me, I'm just having fun, okay? It is not now. Over here, there is turn off phone, turn off. Dang it. The screen protector is only a little bit scratched up, but other than that, the phone seems to be holding up pretty well. And I, and the button, yeah, it still works. I thought it didn't work. But that would be, I would say, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight to nine feet drop. Yeah, so now we're going to do, I would say about a 20 feet drop. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna be dropping. I'm not gonna be doing like how usually people do, like face, side, back. I'm just gonna be doing like a toss and drop. Let's say you are just over here and you are texting your friend. I mean, I don't know why you would text your friend like above this stairs. And then suddenly you go, oops, oh my God, there goes the phone. So <laughs> you run down and you're like, heck, heck. Okay, where is the phone? Seriously, where the hell did you go to? Oh my God, oh, right there, okay. Okay, let's see. Nothing has happened to the phone. Yup, it is looking solid as ever. Oh my god, yup, this is truly an armored phone. I know I'm not gonna be throwing this on the road because, I mean, obviously it's tar and the road is going to scratch the screen. You know, it's common sense, right? But what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna go to my balcony and we're gonna toss it down there, which should be about, I'm not sure, maybe a 30 foot drop. That'd be pretty Pretty cool. I mean, this box, I mean, no, not box, this case, it's not even a case to be honest. It's just a phone. It's not even a case. I would say it's equivalent to the order box. You know the order box cases? Yeah, I'm gonna be saying, okay, wait, I'm gonna need to open this, my balcony over here. Let's go, guys. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay, so where's the phone? There we go. Oh uh, yeah, enclosures. Forgot to clean this out. But okay, so this is a very, very high drop. I'm just gonna toss the phone down there. Ready? One, two, three. And yeah, I hope nothing happened. I mean, from here, I can see that nothing really happened to the phone. Like I can't really see any visible damage, but only one way to find out. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Okay, so let us see what has happened to this phone. Oh, okay, so dang, seriously, there is nothing wrong with the phone at all. Like, it works like perfectly. Oh my god, it's only a slight dent at the case over here, but other than that, I mean, it's not a case, it's the phone, it's just this, and other than that, nothing. This phone has. Oh my god, it is running Android. I don't use Android. I don't even want to use this phone to be honest. But let's check out the camera. Now the camera, it's not, I wouldn't say it's the best. I mean it's it's decent enough if you're gonna like take a picture. Like, okay, wait, there we go. You can see it it's decent enough for you to use. There we go, it's focused. But I'm yeah, it, it's fine. Like the video, you see it it's kinda like I wouldn't use this for filming, but I would use this for just general use, like if I go to the jungle. 
It is now 7.30 in the morning. Let's go give this phone to Zena. And then I will come back after work. That would be around 3 p.m. And we'll check if the phone is still in one piece. Zena. Zena, yeah. Get it. Take the phone. Go destroy the phone. Go destroy the phone, Zena. Where's the phone? All right, guys, 7.40 now. I mean, almost, one more minute. Let's go head to work, and then we will come back, and we'll see if the phone is still intact. All right, guys, so I just got back from work. It is now 3.33 p.m. Let's go see what Zena has done to the phone. Hello, Zena. Oh, Zena. Oh yeah, guys, if you're wondering why Zena is in her little corner over here... Ow! Ow! Zena, what the... No. No. Yeah. Well, it's basically because we are currently doing renovation and uh, we don't have a gate. So, yeah, but we do take her out. But as for now... Oh my god. She is in her little... <laughs> Where's the phone, Zena? Where's the phone? We'll take you out later. Where's the phone? Where is the phone? Oh, there's the phone, yo! Okay, so, um, let's go upstairs. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? God dang it, she scratched me. But yeah, anyways guys, so here is the phone. Here's what happened to the phone. I mean, it's freaking working, you guys. It's still working. It's still intact, although it does have a lot of scratches because you saw her like scratching the phone. But oh my god, this is a legit an armored phone because I mean, Xena, Xena <laughs> having a hold of this phone, that is, no, it's going to be brutal for this phone. I mean, it would have been brutal for this phone and it is still in one piece. Like, oh my god, that's so cool. I think I'm going to have to... Ooh, everything's still working though. I mean, the sides here, you can see the thing is coming out a little bit, but that is just the screen protector. It is not the phone itself. I mean, the phone is still working like, dang, even the touch parts, they are working like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna give this phone a quick rinse because we already saw this phone is waterproof. So we're gonna give it a quick rinse and we'll see what damage she has done to it because now it's pretty dirty. So let's go clean this up. Alright guys, so I've cleaned it up as clean as I could. I mean, I know, I actually know. I did not put like any effort in cleaning, I just rinsed it off. But, if you can look very closely over here, you can see that the phone is pretty scratched up. I mean, scratch is always bound to happen on phones, but this is pretty darn cool. Like, check there. I mean, this may look like the screen is broken, but no, it's just the screen protector. The phone actually came with a screen protector, so that is freaking awesome, you guys. I mean, at the top here, you can see, I think I saw bite marks just now let me just look for it yep this right here at the corner if my phone would focus my god there we go this right here at the corner is definitely her bite mark she was like grabbing onto the phone and then i think oh yeah up here up here these two here yep those are bite marks and i mean this phone is still this is not a case like i mentioned in the beginning of this video this whole thing is the phone itself this is not the case you know you may think this is an order box case or something no this is legit the phone so i'm pretty impressed i mean i was a little bit skeptical at first when i saw this phone dubbed to be the armored phone but then after doing all these tests i mean jeez anyways whatever so that will be it for this video you guys you have seen this phone survive drops you have seen this phone survive dirty porn water you have seen this phone survive xena my crazy german shepherd if you're filming tarantulas you're gonna be dropping your i mean if, if you're like me you're gonna be dropping your phone in the water i, I don't know maybe if you're filling turtles but yeah, you're gonna drop it in the water you're gonna be dropping this in substrate for some reason i don't know or if you're filming like up high you may drop it down no clue and most importantly if you are with your dog or something <laughs> yeah you get my point i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video peace oh yeah 
sorry if this video is a little bit different i mean it's like a whole new turn it's like very different compared to what we always do but a lot of you guys have been asking me like what do i film with well i filmed my iphone 7 and uh i just wanted to give this phone my first impression and i must say that i will not be filming my tees with this phone because the camera isn't the best but i will no doubt say that this phone is armored